Hey, what's up you guys, it's Ethan, and I'm back with another video. So those of you who don't know, the, I wanna say week and a half before this video, I was in Disney World with my family, and it was super fun. Like, I haven't been there in like five years. I was 13 last time I went, and I told like, I think I told like one story on here, on my channel about that, like, 2013 terrifying experience of the Tower of Terror. Um, <laughs> this ride hates me, apparently. I love this ride. The Tower of Terror is my favorite ride in Disney World. Like, so those of you who really don't know what it is, like, it's supposed to look like a 1920s and 30s kind of themed hotel that is abandoned. It was abandoned, like, in 1939 because lightning struck the elevator and sent five unfortunate people trapped in between our world and next. Ooh. So it's called the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror for that reason. And like the host of the Twilight Zone show, like back in the day, I think is like on it or something. Like, I don't know a lot about that show. So like, I don't really know what to say there, but like, it's really interesting and it's really fun. And I love like old stuff and I love abandoned places. And even though this isn't like a legit abandoned place, like it's not real, it feels real and it's so cool. And I just, I love it. I love the theme. I love everything about this ride. It's so much fun. So basically what you do is you like, you go inside the hotel lobby, and, like you wait for further instruction and then they send you to like, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Um, they send you to like this library and then you watch a video about like, you know, the story, the backstory behind it, basically what I just told you. And they send you on your way to the basement, like the boiler room kind of thing where there's like a service elevator because obviously you can't go up the original elevator. They're like not working at the moment. <laughs> so <laughs> they take you to the basement and then you get on the ride and like, you know, you get in, you buckle up and then off you go. And that's basically the story that I told you last time about the time when it was going up and down and my seatbelt came undone and like broke and I had to hold on to the handle things that were on the seat and it was awful. If you don't know that video, just scroll back and find it on my channel because that one's pretty interesting too. But oh my gosh, you guys, I have another story from the Twilight Zone. That sounded really creepy. So last time was 2013, like I said before. 2018, right now, I went with my family. You know, it's totally fun. And last time I had my uncle and aunt and my cousin with me. Uh, this time is the first time my family has ever gone to Disney, just like us four, no more. So, I mean, the first time, 2007, I was with my grandma and then my family. Last time I was with my cousin and aunt and uncle, this time was like just us. So it was like, wow. I mean, I was excited and I was like, well, this will be cool. It'll be a fun family experience. But also I'm like, well, shoot, I have nobody to ride rides with. I mean, I can drag my dad along rides too. Like I'm, I'm a mean person. I'm like, come on, you're riding this with me. <laughs> but um, my sister and my mom, my mom can't ride roller coasters at all. Like she can't, and she hated them. And my sister is the same way. Like my sister, like her head, like is all like, Ugh, and she just, she doesn't like them. And so she, they don't like a lot of rides. And my dad, he used to love roller coasters, but now that he's like all old, <laughs> um, now that he's like older, he doesn't like them very much. Like they make his head feel funny too. So I'm the only one that really is like, oh, I want to ride this. Oh, I want to ride this. Oh, oh, oh. So. There was like so, my shirt, okay. There was like so many rides that like I wanted to ride, so many rides that I haven't, and like all sorts of stuff. There's the new Toy Story Land that I think it just opened like this summer or last summer or something, I don't know. But like lots of fun roller coasters. I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, I had to ride the Tower of Terror by myself because my dad's like, I'm not riding that. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're all babies. I'm sorry. Like, sorry guys. You guys are love you i'd ride this by myself so like i walk up and like what you do like when you're walking up is you kind of like walk up and you're like you know the hotel is like huge so you're like looking up and it's like this creepy like 
grown-up pathway and everything looks abandoned and you're waiting and then you see the sign it's like established 1917 and then you know it's super cool and then there's like a posted like keep out sign like to show like it's so authentic it's like so cool i just it makes you like really feel like wow this is like a legit story this really happened you know like i love how disney is a magical place like that so once you get into like the hotel lobby like i said before you wait you go to the library you watch the video about this the backstory behind like what happened and then you know they take you to the elevator you get in the elevator so this time last time i was in row like two or something like that i think on the first seat and it was just awful because my seatbelt broke <laughs> so i got put in row six so there's like the aisle down the middle and then there's like row six and then row five is right next to it and then row four row three row two row one kind of thing and There's someone like right outside my window. I'm sorry. Like, it's just really awkward because my windows are down. But anyway, what was I saying? I don't remember. Um, I, this always happens to me when I'm filming right here in my car. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So I get in row six and there's two ladies like in front of me. One, she looks maybe 20s, 30s, something like that. And then another one who I would have guessed maybe like 50s, mid 50s. So. I assumed they were like mother and daughter or something like that. I, I'm, they looked alike, they both had blonde hair, like they looked similar. And so they're like, they sent me with them two to go on row six and they're rows of four seats. So when we get in the elevator, we're like walking in and there's like rows, like there's four seats in each row, but there's only three of us. And once we get in like the far end seat is like the seat belt is broken it's like out of order so we're like okay so we're like i just poke myself in the eye oh my gosh ow um so we're like okay nobody sits there so, so the girl in her 20s or 30s she sat like right next to the one that was broken and then there was the older lady and then there was me on the very end close to the aisle so we do the ride and everything is fun like so the elevator goes up opens you see a hallway and then like ghosts kind of appear and they like tell you to come and then like the hallway kind of disappears and looks like a starry night sky they except for the window is at the end of the hallway and then it kind of floats towards you and then it breaks so then i think your elevator kind of like goes up or down to a different floor and then you kind of drive down through like the twilight zone and you know there's like all these weird little ghosts that are everywhere and then like this weird eyeball thing and like all the little spinny like ooh, hypnosis kind of stuff you know weirdness so oh my god she's back seriously go away sorry um, then it kind of turns pitch black once you reach the end for like a second and I think there's like someone talking and then can you please leave me alone Jeez. so then you like drop and you go up down up down up down up down up down I don't know how many times it's like different every single time so you go up down up down up down and then once you get to the end like you watch the guy from the Twilight Zone. I don't remember his name, but like the host of that show or whatever. And he's like talking on this screen with like everything kind of floating away behind him. And you know, kind of saying, I don't remember really what he says, but he's like, next time you go into the Twilight Zone, <laughs> like his creepy little voice. And he's talking and then you watch that and then your elevator kind of backs up, it feels like, and then the doors close. And then your elevator kind of spins around and then takes you to the original elevator doors that you got in on. Got in on, I can't speak. And then you like, you know, you get off and yay, that was the ride. And then you can go find your picture and then leave. What happened with us is, as we're watching the guy talking, right before, like, he wasn't even done talking, like, at all. It wasn't even, like, close to the end. It was maybe, like, part of the way done. And the door is just closed. And you can still hear him talking on the other side, but we're like, that was bizarre. Like, we're supposed to watch that. Like, why did it shut off? You know, everyone's kind of like, well, that was stupid. Like, now we're not going to know what he says. And then the elevator's like, uh, 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 and then it like shakes like crazy. And then the lights flicker and then they go out and then the music goes out and everything is off. And we're like, uh, is this like part of the ride? 
um, okay. And we were like really confused and like we didn't know like what was going on. And we sat in the dark, I'm not even kidding you, for like 10 minutes. No sound, no music, no lights, no nothing. And obviously the Tower of Terror is like supposed to be a spooky ride. So like the lights are dim, like in the Haunted Mansion or something like that. But there were no lights on at all. It was insane. So then the lights finally come on and they like fully come on like all of the emergency lights and there's that dummy from like one of the twilight zone episodes i think i don't remember his name i don't i don't know i can include something about that here if i find it but I took a picture of him because when the lights turn on, he's like right next to our row, like sitting like right on a shelf, like next to the like like younger lady that I was sitting next to, and she's like, ah! <laughs> and then everyone in the entire elevator is like, ah! <laughs> and the older lady next to me, and then she's kind of started. She's like, oh no, 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 mm -mm. I don't like it. No, I don't. No, no, no. I'm sitting next to a dummy that's gonna come to life, it's gonna kill us all, and then it's like, then she started, I think she was talking about like some, one of the Twilight Zone episodes, she probably like watched the show or something, cause she was like talking about like, she's like, no, no, she's like, oh my god, and then there's gonna be clowns, and then there's gonna be this, and there's gonna be that, and then we're gonna die, and she's like, and on top of all that, we're six, six, six. I'm on row six, there's three of us, six, six, six. I'm like, oh, thank you so much for including me in that number. <laughs> what? So, and then she's like, you're welcome. There is power in numbers. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was so confused. She was like, she was, they were so nice. And they were really funny. But like, you could tell that she was just like, she wanted to get out of there. Poor woman. I mean, I did too. Let's be real. Everyone did. We were like, seriously, this is ridiculous. So we sat in the lights for like maybe another five minutes. But well, okay, I'll get to that. So like when the lights turn on, um, this like British woman kind of comes over the intercom and she's like attention your elevator has been stopped due to technical difficulties we shall get you moving again soon we apologize for the inconvenience and then that was it and we're like what <laughs> and so we sat in the light with the lights on thank god at least there was lights for like another like five minutes maybe seven I don't know I think it was like five minutes um and so everyone in the elevator is just talking like, so what do you do today? Like, that's fun. So have you ridden in this new roller coaster? That's cool. Hi. <laughs> it was like really awkward, but really funny. I mean, cause like, you know, you get to meet new people in instances like that. So it's fun. Um, and I mean, I didn't have anywhere else to be until like later. So like, cause we were going to see it like a show. So I was fine. I was just like, you know, this is going to be a great story to tell. And that's what I was thinking in my head. I'm like, I'm going to tell this on my YouTube channel. <laughs> like, this is perfect. <laughs> so, basically, you know, we're just sitting there forever. And then, like, in between, like, this five-minute span where the lights were on, you know, you could hear the other... I can't speak. The other elevator starting to go. Like, you'd hear their screams get really close to you and then go, like, really far away because they're going up and down and up and down. But then I'm like, wait a minute. Everyone's thinking, like, wait, shouldn't we, like, already be out of here? Like, what's going to happen when they're done, you know? So we were all thinking that and we're like, um. Because, like, you know, you go down, you, like, back up and you watch that screen and then the door is closed, which we didn't even go watch it because the door is closed too fast and then it turns and then we leave. So we're still sitting there, like, and we're like, oh my gosh. So then we see, like, the doors open again and you see the elevator land in front of us and we're like, oh snap, it's about to get real. So we're like, oh no, like, is it like, you know, what's gonna happen? <laughs> So then you hear the guy talking on the other side of that elevator because they're watching the video now and you're like, you know, you hear like the next time you enter the toilet, so like the creepy voice. And then the elevator just starts slowly backing up towards us and we're like, oh snap, oh, mm -mm. like what's gonna happen? We're gonna have like a clog going on, it's just not good and we're gonna be crushed or something. And then the elevator like, boom, and like bangs into us and we're like, whoa. <laughs> I'm probably shaking my car so much right now. Like, I hope that nobody's like, 
<laughs> but anyway, so like, we're like, whoa. And so then our elevator starts bouncing again. And then it finally, I guess, like starts up again. And then it turns. And then I guess they had to wait until we got out. So they were probably stuck there for the moment until we got out and we got out, you know, everything was good. And we're like, okay, we want to go see our picture. So we go and we're like, where's our picture? And so like, you know how they count down like the certain time and the picture disappears, the picture, dis the picture dis disappears. That hurts so bad. <laughs> but the picture disappears and you know, then the next ones come. So we're like, what the heck? Where's our picture? Like, it's not there. And then, so we're like, oh my gosh, were we stuck in there so long that we missed the picture? And so then we go to the front desk, me and like the whole elevator, like we're all like still huddled together. And we're like, I'm still like sitting, standing next to the um, two little blonde ladies. And we're like, we go up to the, like the front lobby desk thing. And we're like, hey, like we never saw our picture. Like, can you pull it up for us? And she's like, oh yeah absolutely absolutely and so she pulls it up and she's like um it's telling me that your picture was completely erased from our system and we're like what why and she's like I don't know did you have any technical difficulties what happened and we're like yeah we were like stuck in there for like 15 minutes like and we like, she's like, what? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. What happened? And so then everyone had to explain what was going on. And then we explained that the elevator, <laughs> the other elevator hit us and like all the crazy stuff. We were in the dark, we were in the light, like it got real. So she's like, what? Oh my, I'm so sorry. Uh, hold on. Um, Tiffany, Tiffany, can you come here and like see, um, see this? And she's like, oh, um, she's like, oh, that's weird. I've never seen that before. <laughs> like, dang it, Tiffany. <laughs> We know. <laughs> so they're just like, it's this other girl and then this Tiffany girl. And they're both like, I don't know what to do. Like, do you know what to do? I don't know what to do. Like, it's, I, I, don't, I don't know. And they're just like kind of talking and we're like, this is so weird. And then we're like, okay, were we like in some sort of like legit danger? Because nobody knows what's going on. Like this has never happened before apparently. So it was weird. And then they're like, hold on one second. Let me get, um, let me get our manager. Um, one sec just wait right there so then they go and get the manager and this lady with like curly like my color hair curly like mine except for it was like long she was really pale she was really short she walks out she looks like 20s and she's the manager we're like dang girl you doing good but um so she walks out and she's like oh hi like i'm so sorry like they told me everything like i don't know what happened that's so weird we're like yeah we get it girl I'm like come on <laughs> so so she's like oh, that's so odd so I'll tell you what I can do we can either let you all get on the ride for free again um, we'll just let you like get on again and then you can have the full experience again and then you can get like your picture this time and get it that way or we can give you a recovery fast pass which is like good for one free ride and it doesn't have to be the same ride it can be like any other ride in the park except for Toy Story Land like pfft, whatever but um <laughs> so that's what happened so everyone else was like uh some people like took the fast pass and the two like ladies that I was next to, I don't think they really understood that it was for any ride. But they're like, oh no, 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 I don't want to ride this again. I don't want to ride again. No, no. <laughs> so they like left and I was like, ooh, I'm like, I'm gonna go with that. Like, I'm like, ooh, I can get with that. Like, give me the fast. <laughs> So she scans my thing and she's like, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. And I'm like, oh no, it's totally fine. She's like, you can use this for any ride. And I was like, okay, I'm probably going to use it on this one. And so she didn't laugh. She's like, I'm so sorry. And as I'm leaving, my parents were like, what took you so long? Like we tried texting you and calling you. I'm like, mama, I'm not going to text you while I'm plummeting to my death. Okay. <laughs> So I told her like what happened? I told her what happened and they were like, oh my gosh, like are you okay? Like did you die? And I'm like, no, I'm fine. Like I, I wasn't scared. It was like funny, but like I was still like, well, what the heck is going on? Like get me out of this ride. Like, I mean, I thought it was more amusing than funny and like, I don't know. I thought it was more funny than like terrifying. I'm weird. I don't know. Like it wasn't scary. It was just like, what the heck, you know? So we leave and we end up like going to ride the, the rock and roller coaster and then I come back and I'm like I want to ride this ride again <laughs> so, <laughs> so, oh something else I forgot to say when I was first getting on the ride um it was like literally like a 15 minute wait or like a 10 to 15 minute wait and I was like dang that's really good for like the tower of terror so I go and ride it but once I got out of the rock and roller coaster and went back um 
or when I left that ride too, it was like a 95 minute wait or something because like that whole elevator shaft that I was in is completely like shut down. Like they shut it down for like the rest of the day. I guess they were like testing it, making sure everything was okay, didn't know what was going on because nobody knew what was happening. So that entire side of the, like, the tower was, like, shut down for, like, the whole day. So there was only one elevator, or I'm sure there's multiple, but there's, like, that one side that's, like, working. So there was, like, a long wait, but I had had my fast pass, so, like, they let me through. And there was, like, a complication with the fast pass, because, like, when I went up to it and they scanned it, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, it's scheduled for something else, because we had a fast pass for something else. And then I had to explain, like, what happened, and I, I was, like, I was in there when it broke down. The lady gave me a recovery fast pass. Like, she's the girl with the poofy hair, if you need to check. And so she's like, oh, never mind, like, it's fine, like, I got it. And then she, like, reset it, and she's like, you're good. They were all nice, so... I went, did my thing, got on the ride, and another benefit of being like a single rider is like, you know, if you're in the back of the line and then there's like someone like, they're like, do we have any single riders? I'm like, me! And then like, you know, you get to go ahead of everybody else, which was great because like, I was with this like complete jerk face in line, like, she kept bonking into me and then I'm like, I would turn around, I'm just like a really, I try to be a nice person, so I turn around and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, like, even though it wasn't my fault, and then she did it again, like, three times and I'm like oh I'm sorry and she's like yeah we keep running into each other or she's like yeah you keep running into me so like it's fine and I'm like uh excuse me <laughs> so it was fun to like cut in front of her and I'm like bye and it was just it was great I'm such a nice person so that happened in Disney World quite interesting there are, like, a couple other, like, interesting things that have happened in Disney, like, while I was there for that week, and, I mean, I can talk about some more stuff on here. I'm thinking about doing that. So, yeah, that was pretty much the crazy story of that day. That was, like, my last day in Disney. We were in, like, Hollywood Studios that day. So... If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn the notification bell on so that you can know whenever I post a video like this one. Because I'm cool and, and you need to watch my stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, like my intros and outros are so stupid. <laughs> Bye, y'all.